Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is Hannah from the Instagram My Skincare Regime, where I post about skincare products I'm currently using. I also have a blog where I write in depth reviews, for which the link will be down below. Also, if you would like to support the channel on Patreon, there are many perks and benefits such as voting on various polls including YouTube video topics and skincare review polls. You can also be part of the Patreon community where you get to exclusively see new products I've gotten and hear my early first impressions. I have a lot more perks I am planning on adding in the future. I'll leave the link down below. In this video, I'll be showing you three cleansing balms all at different price ranges. I will be swatching them, giving my first impressions, and stay tuned till the end of the video because I will be testing how effective they are at makeup breakdown and removal. Of note, all these products contain either essential oils or fragrance so be careful if you have an allergy. Now let's get on with the video. First up is the I'm From Fake Cleansing Balm. This product is from my Yes Style haul video, the link will be down below, along with the I'm From Fig Essence. I wanted to get this balm honestly because I like the packaging. It looks so nice. It's got that matte, sophisticated look. And it's quite a large tub. The main ingredient here is fig oil water, extracted using a method that only I'm From uses. This product came with a hygiene tab and also a good sized spatula. Along with other oils and extracts, this balm aims to gently cleanse impurities from the skin and help with melting away blackheads. I like the pink tint. This is apparently rich in vitamins and polyphenols which fully hydrate the skin after cleansing. Fig extract is a humectant. It also contains moringa oil which you can see in a lot of balms. It's not difficult to dig your spoon in and take product out. This does contain wax I believe so you can see that sort of waxy texture. This does contain fragrance to enhance the smell of fig. I don't really mind fragrance in cleansers because you wash away potential irritants. And the smell isn't very strong either. You can see when rubbing that the wax easily melts into the skin. And this pretty much becomes an oil. It feels very nice and even moisturising on the skin. As you can see, it's not sticky or tacky. It's easy to massage into the skin and even rub or wash off. Next up is the Good Molecules Cleansing Balm, which I have included in my Good Molecules PR unboxing video. The link will be down below. This contains sheer butter for that texture that melts upon skin contact and then contains sea buckthorn oil for supposed skin soothing. There are some essential oils in here for fragrance and camellia oil which supposedly soothes the skin. This cleansing balm supposedly dissolves makeup, dirt and environmental pollutants as well as other impurities. It is a screw top plastic tub. This did come with a spatula, albeit smaller than the one from I'm From, but I like the way the spatula is held and it also came with a hygiene tab. This is waxy, but easy to dig the spatula into. This has quite a short ingredients list with adequate surfactants to dissolve and remove makeup. With the addition of essential oils and floral extracts, this could be a nice sensual massage into the skin. And once rubbing into the skin, it melts and feels pleasant to the touch. I do get the smell of essential oils, stronger than the other two products. But as you can see, just like the I'm From Cleansing Balm, this melts into the skin from wax into oil. And it's not an unpleasant massage. And it's also not sticky or tacky. This cleansing balm apparently rinses away with just water, leaving the skin comfortably clean and not dry or stripped. And I agree, my hand didn't feel too dry or tight. So not a bad product. Now onto the next balm, which is by Wishful Skin. This is their Clean Genie Cleansing Balm. Or should I say Cleansing Butter, as supposedly this product feels like butter and melts onto the skin like butter. Wishful Skin state that this is a soft balm to oil milk formula, which feels literally like butter and fast melts onto the skin. It is supposedly gentle on the skin and eyes, but tough in its makeup melting capabilities. 
The whole point of this balm is to be an adequate makeup remover while not stripping the skin. It also contains green tea to help condition the skin. Unlike the other two products, this did not come with a spatula. Interesting to see that it cracked a little bit on the sides. Initially I thought this didn't come with a hygiene tab, but I had accidentally lifted it when lifting the lid. I rubbed my finger on the surface of the product and it melted so quickly, look how buttery it turned. I do think this product melts the quickest out of the other two, and it also has the softest texture compared to the other two. This smells like soap, it has that sort of soap bar smell. And also this does contain colourants to give that green look. I'm using the I'm From spatula to scoop out some of the product, and look, it looks like a sorbet. And just like the others, it is a screw top tub. For those with allergies, this contains limonene and citronellol. Interestingly, this also contains titanium dioxide, which I'm not sure why. I do have to barely touch this in order to melt it. Now, this is supposed to have a balm to milk formula, and in my head, I would think it means it emulsifies into a milky-like opaque colour, which this does not. It just melts into an oil, which I don't have a problem with. All three balms melt into a sort of oil-like texture when massaged into the skin, but as you can see with the Wishful Skin Cleansing Balm, this definitely seems to melt a lot more than the other two. This did not dry out my skin, and this was easy to wash or wipe off. I wanted to test these balms and see if they could remove makeup in one go, not a double cleanse. So realistically, one would use a double cleanse, but I wanted to see how effective these are in one go. The makeup includes a Maybelline shadow pencil and a Vanilla Co eyeliner. First up, I'm using the I'm From Cleansing Balm, and I'm using basically a pea-sized amount. As you can see, it's off to a good start. It's dissolving the pencil quite well. After a lot, a lot, a lot of rubbing, I mean more rubbing than I would do on my face normally, you can see that the pencil is removed, however, the Benilico eyeliner has remained. This tough little thing must be waterproof. It's really stuck to my skin. I do think the balm has managed to take off some of the glitter of the eyeliner, but a lot of it remains. Now I'm just using a wet wipe to remove the product. I can still see remnants of the pencil, and the eyeliner is still there, however the glitter has gone. So it's not terrible, but I think an eye and lip remover would be needed. I would recommend the one from Bioderma. Now let's try with the Good Molecules Cleansing Balm. Will this succeed? I tried to pick up the same amount as the previous product, to be fair. We're off to a good start, it seems to be dissolving the black pencil. The black pencil is fading, and I do think the top half of the eyeliner is coming off. The glittery part. And as you can see, the eyeliner remains. When removing the product, you can see that the eyeliner is still there, some of the glitter remains, however, unlike the fig cleansing balm, I think this balm removed the black pencil better. So it's a good try. Now let's see if the Clean Genie can remove the eyeliner and eye pencil. So it looks like it's starting to dissolve the black eye pencil. Now that I'm removing makeup, I can see that this product does sort of turn milky, as Wishful stated. It seems to be having quite a tough time removing the black pencil, compared to the other two products. So as you can see, the black pencil is there. When swiping the product off, the eyeliner is still there, and also you can see the hint of black pencil there as well. However, the glitter from the Benilico eyeliner has all gone. So this is the Benilico Slick Expression Sparkle Eyeliner, 
As you can see, it's been so hard to remove this product off that I actually would recommend it if you want to buy a really good eyeliner. It defeated three cleansing balms and will last on the skin. And this is the Maybelline Shadow Pencil. This could be discontinued for all I know, but I thought black would be easy to see the removal of. So I think overall the most effective cleansing balm seems to be the Good Molecules, but the Fig Cleansing Balm wasn't far off and then the Wishful also wasn't terrible. I think for eye products it's adequate to use an eye and lip makeup remover after cleansing with a balm, just to make sure you get everything off. Or just do a second cleanse, or another cleanse with an oil, foam or gel cleanser. Overall, I like the texture of all of these products, but I think it depends on how effective you want the makeup removal to be, versus the sensory feeling of the product on your skin. And of course, it depends on the price. But what was your favourite? Have you tried any of these? If you have, please comment down below and subscribe today for future content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!